Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to take a backup of a PDS. You can also take a backup of PDS manually using 3.3 option. And through JCL, we use IEB copy. So it is primarily used by administrators to take backups of all PDS. So in PDS, we have programs, we have JCLs, procedures, control cards, etc. So all these are taken backup by administrators. Okay, they use IEB copy a lot. And in today's world, they do volume backups. We do, they don't copy a PDS to PDS. Instead, they copy the entire volumes. So let's see how, how to use IEB copy. In IEB copy, there will be four DD names. An input, output, user input, user output, and system input and system output. In system input, we give the control cards. We can either copy an entire PDS, meaning all members of PDS to in output PDS, or we can selectively copy specific members, whatever you want. As far as input and output DD names are concerned, user input and user output DD names are concerned, you can give anything. I have given here as a standard. You can use the in input or output. You can use in or out or DD in, DD out. So this will be constituting the input PDS from which you are going to copy. And that's why we gave display equal to share, meaning you are going to read this PDS and write into an external PDS, output PDS. If the output PDS is already present, you are going to give display equal to old or share. If it is a new, you are going to give new catalog delete. When you copy a PDS to PDS, you have to make sure or understand the storage of input PDS so that you can understand what is the storage requirement of an output PDS. Okay, as far as PDS is concerned, it will have directory blocks also, which will be the third parameter in the quantity. If you give directory block as one, it denotes you can copy up to five members. So we have formula n into five, where n denotes directory blocks. So you have to understand how many members this PDS is present based on the desired how many directory blocks an output PDS should contain. As far as control card is concerned, okay, these are the control cards. You should not control, start control cards in column one. Usually it is used for commenting. If you give star here, it means if the line is commented, the control card is commented. Don't write any control cards in column one. Instead, you have to write from anywhere from column two to 71. Even we don't write in 72. So this, these are control cards which are passed, pa sent as a part of this program. Okay, it's an input to this program. And any output messages that are generated out of IEP copy during execution will be copied to sysprint. In case we get return code 12 after executing, you have to go to sysprint and see what went wrong and then correct it and resubmit again. Let me explain about the control card. The control card is very simple. You have to give copy space out DD equal to the output DD name. Okay, output DD name is output here. Comma in DD equal to input. So in DD equal to the input DD name. Whatever you are giving here, you are supposed to give here. Suppose if you give in here and out here, it should be in and out. So this control card will be used to copy entire PDS, all the members of input PDS to output PDS. And since output PDS is not present, we are creating by giving new catalog, delete as disposition. I'm going to submit this. You'll be getting either zero or 12. So we got zero, that's good. So what has happened? First, let us see the PDS, the input PDS. I'm going to 3.4. So backup is ready. This is the input PDS. I'm browsing. You can see there are five members, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, F3. And I'm going to the output PDS, which was just copied. It's just a backup, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So all the five members have been copied from input to output. So this is how we copy, uh, take a full volume or full backup of a PDS using IEB copy. You can give any DD name, whatever DD names you are giving here should be given here. Uh, thanks for watching this video.